The divine commandment says in Luke 12, 29, And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. Let's discuss practical stuff now so that the, the discussion isn't just ideas. If I tell you don't worry, your natural response would be, How? What should I do? Anxiety is winning the fight. It's not something I want. I wake up and find myself worried, or when I go to sleep, I can't sleep from the worry. So the whole anxiety thing isn't coming about by my own efforts. It comes by itself. The first practice to put into place is don't submit your mind to the barriers and thoughts of anxiety, meaning you might not have power over your heart, but you do have power over your head. You can control your mind. You have to be convinced of that. Maybe you can't collect your emotions, but it's not hard for you to collect your thoughts. You need to monitor where your mind is going. What direction are your thoughts drifting? As soon as you notice your thoughts starting to drift toward the idea of, say, the money isn't going to be enough, stop. That's the road to anxiety. Or, the people are conspiring against me. Stop. That's the road to anxiety. Or, it looks like the kids are going to be lost. All that is anxiety. So the first thing is, don't let your mind go in this direction. If you're monitoring your thoughts, you're able. And you're going to be working on this all day because in the beginning it's really hard. Because most likely you'll discover that 90% of your thoughts cause you anxiety. The work, the money, the people, the kids, the health, all of it brings anxiety. So you'll find yourself hitting the brakes all day long. You'll be stopping every thought of that kind. But in reality, there are psychologists who have said everyone in the world today is squandering their energy with useless thoughts. These wandering thoughts are the basis of anxiety. Only 10% of people's thoughts are what realize achievements, but 90% are frivolous, useless because they're suffocated by anxiety. So hit the brakes. That's a practice that's not easy, but it needs some exercise and we need to focus on it. The second practice, which is harder, is to resist fear. Anxiety triggers fear right away. The words, don't be anxious, are said once. The words, don't be afraid, are said maybe 300 times. They're in the same family. So when you sense the feeling of fear has entered you, hit the brakes and drive it out. But the brakes in this case needs prayer, the name of our Lord Jesus. Don't entertain the feeling of fear, fear too much. Also, don't recycle anxiety with words. What does this mean? One may bring out what's in his mind and heart through his mouth. You know what happens in this moment. The words from his mouth go back up through his ears and into his mind and heart. So he makes the anxiety spin. So when you use phrases such as, or else, this or that will happen, disaster, we lost, the money. So you hear the language itself. So the words return to your mind and go down into your heart. So be careful. Anxiety is the most important cause of sickness nowadays. So you need to halt this cycle by any means. Halt your mind. Halt your heart. At, at a minimum, halt your tongue. Hit the brakes because all of that falls under the banner, don't be anxious.